Hello. We have two stories today that both top the ADA charts. Our first story was hugely popular and just received an update. It tells the story of a woman who has been bending over backwards trying to reconnect with her brother by accommodating the increasingly outrageous demands of his fiance. But serendipity strikes with an opportunity for a spontaneous getaway just as the veil falls off on this hidden bridezilla and her schemes are exposed. Does family always come first? Or is a little fun in the sun just the reality check needed for this new family member? Story one. My brother, Tom, 36-year-old male, and I, 26-year-old female, have never had a really solid relationship due to our age gap. We didn't spend much time, and by the time I was old enough to develop a personality, he was moved out of the house. For the last two years, my brother and his fiancée, Sarah, 32-year-old female, have been planning their wedding, and it's coming up in September. I was asked to be a bridesmaid. I figured I was only asked as a courtesy since I'm her soon-to-be sister-in-law, but I still took it seriously. I have been a bridesmaid for the last two years. Just a few weeks ago, I managed to save up to buy the $800 bridesmaid dress. Overall, in the last two years, between group outings to parties, dinners, lunches, clothes, etc., I spent thousands of dollars. Eventually, all the girls in the wedding and I became extremely close, and I started to get hyped for the wedding. Sarah recently got close with her brother's wife, Becky, 30-year-old female. Last week, she dropped the ball on me that she no longer wants me to be a bridesmaid and she would prefer if Becky would take my place. It broke my heart a little, but it's her wedding and it's not my place to tell her how to run it. So I said it was fine. Yesterday, I went to my brother's house to pick up the bridesmaid's dress and was going to see if I could return it since it was within the time frame. Sarah was completely appalled and said that Becky was going to wear it since she and I are the same size. I said that would be fine, but they would have to pay me the $800 for it. Sarah said that Becky couldn't afford it and I should just be nice and let her use it and said that I could keep it after the wedding. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. I explained that I'm not just giving away the dress and I'm not ever going to use it after the wedding. After some bickering back and forth, I just ended up taking it and leaving. Oh, thank goodness. I would not leave the house without the dress, to be clear. My brother and Sarah tried to compromise with me and say I could be, oh my gosh, the assistant flower girl, and I felt offended at the offer. As she should be, I'm pretty sure that's a 10-year-old's job. After I said no, they then said that Becky could give me 250 bucks for it. Hmm. I'd say no. Again, no, and I returned the dress and got a full refund. I told them I understand that it's their wedding, but they are being extremely disrespectful to me and I don't need to deal with it and I'm not going to the wedding. Today my coworker says she has an extra round trip plane ticket to go to Miami that she'll sell to me for half price. Woo, yes please. I would have to pay for half the hotel and I can go hang out with her in Florida. The only downside, is that I'll be in Florida for the week of my brother's wedding. So will I be the jerk if I just go party in Miami instead of going to my brother's wedding? Reddit voted, not the jerk. In the comments, Auntie Mam said, not the jerk, go to Miami. A wedding is not an event where a soon-to-be sister-in-law and your own brother dump all over you and you smile and take it. Prudent Plan replied, a 26-year-old assistant flower girl? Really? How insulting. OP, one of the nice things about declining an invitation is that you need not give a gift. A card of congratulations is all etiquette requires. And I think you've already overspent both literally and emotionally on this wedding. Specialist Effort asked, Info, how likely is it that this wasn't a coincidence? Were you made the bridesmaid so that you'd foot the bill for the dress for the new bridesmaid? You just happen to be the same size as the new bridesmaid? I don't buy it. OP replied, yeah, I thought it was a really crazy coincidence. Pad Flash said, screw him, they did you dirty. OP replied, that's what I was thinking. I would also lose out on the $800 dress and if I was going to be the assistant flower girl, I would have to buy another dress. This whole ordeal has stressed me out. Maybe I need to relax in Miami. Update, would I be the jerk if I go on vacation instead of my brother's wedding? Update. 
So unfortunately, since Reddit is awful at keeping secrets, Becky saw the post on TikTok, so she obviously let the cat out of the bag. My whole family is split on what I should do. But after a heated argument, it was mutually agreed that I will not be attending the wedding. My brother and future sister-in-law cannot seem to comprehend that this is not about the dress, but how they treated me. For those wondering what our parents have to say, our mother says, if you're gonna be a jerk, don't be upset when someone's a jerk back. My dad says, dot, 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 because he's long dead. My brother and future sister-in-law think I am the jerk. But by the way, my mom paid for the hotel for my trip. I think it is safe to assume whose side she's low key on. I appreciate all the love and support I got. I will have an amazing time in Miami and won't feel the slightest bit guilty thanks to the overwhelmingly positive response I got on here. In the comments, InGen Nate Kenny asked, were the names and ages not fake on the original post? If so, ouch. OP replied, I used fake names, but I guess me talking about an $800 dress and getting booted from a wedding was oddly specific. Unicorn said, I don't understand how Becky is married and herself and future sister-in-law's brother couldn't get the money together to buy the dress. Yet they all expected OP, younger than all of them, who saved for months for that $800 dress to just fork it over? To just take the loss after being kicked out of or demoted in the wedding party? And they think OP is the jerk? Laughing emoji, mean old lady replied, I'm sure it was planned. That's why the dress was at her house and she wasn't replaced until she purchased the dress. They tried to play her, but she showed them she still got game. She won this war. The highlight of this story is the fact that OP's mom paid for her hotel room on this amazing trip she'll be going on. The mom is probably shaking her head at her son thinking, what the heck are you doing, buddy? She actually sounds like a pretty amazing mom and clearly not the meddling type since she's not stepping in. And the brother, he kind of deserves what's coming his way. And he and Sarah are definitely the jerks. Our second story takes us down Wisteria Lane with a situation more reminiscent of Desperate Housewives than Ada. When a new mom moves into the house next door, the queen bee of the neighborhood social circle is all smiles and pies until the pint-sized little munchkins start to cramp her style and decides that family ain't worth the trouble. Does it take a village or is the solo mommy just out to lunch? Story two. Last month, my old neighbors moved out and some new ones moved in. A couple in their late 20s with four small children. The wife is a stay-at-home mom and the husband is a trucker. I went to introduce myself and bring them a pie right after they moved in. I didn't really like their vibe, but I'm a friendly person, so I tried inviting the wife to things. Our neighborhood is small, a collection of 10 houses. Everyone knows everyone and is generally pretty friendly. No one else has young kids though. It's mostly couples with no kids or older couples whose kids have moved out. I hang out with two of my female neighbors who are a similar age to my own, mid twenties. We go on walks, have lunch at each other's houses, etc. I only work three days a week, so I have a lot of free time. I invited the new neighbor, Molly, to two different things. Lunch at my house and also a walk slash hike me and the others were going on. Both times she just assumed she could bring her kids and showed up to my house with them. I turned her away from lunch at my house because I don't want four rowdy kids under the age of six in my not childproof house. She was upset because she has no one who can ever watch them and she can't come without them. She did bring them on a walk with us, but we couldn't go in the forest because of her stroller. So it kind of ruined things for us. There's no trees or shade in the neighborhood and the summer heat makes it awful. The forest is much better. Since then, I've been avoiding Molly like the plague. I just don't want to be her friend. She invited me over, asked to come over and bring her kids. She even asked me to watch her kids the other day so she can have a break. I barely know the woman and I feel like her behavior is pretty inappropriate. And she's maybe just not picking up on social cues. Today, me and my other neighbors went for a walk in the forest and she saw us go. She texted me to ask why she wasn't invited and I said it's because we don't want our plans to be altered by her children. Plus, that she's expressed that she can't do anything without her children. She went on a rant about how it takes a village and we just don't understand what it's like and she called us all jerks. 
I agree with her that I don't understand what it's like because I would personally never choose to have four kids with an absent husband. I just feel like she's being unreasonable to expect us to have a bad time just so she can have a good time. Her kids were super annoying and hard to deal with. My husband thinks she's a jerk, but my mom thinks I should be more sympathetic. Edit. Okay, since you guys wanted me to add it, I'll add it. I asked Molly if she had any food allergies and if she was okay with salmon and quinoa for lunch. She had the opportunity to mention she wanted to bring her kids and choose not to take it. I did not make enough food to feed her four kids because I had no clue she planned on bringing them. I only made food for four, not eight. Also, when we went on a walk, the original plan was to walk in the forest. But at last minute, she unilaterally decided we as a group should change our plans and walk the neighborhood instead because her stroller can't go in the forest. She also said, you're all a bunch of harpies for not making things easier on a mom. So yeah, bridge burned. Sucks to suck, Molly. Edit two. It's like somewhere y'all have never heard of a babysitter before or declining plans you're invited to. Reddit voted, everyone sucks here. In the comments, out here slap and bluff, both you are jerks. You. Now you clearly saw that the woman had four kids and the husband is a truck driver. When you invite her to go places, where the heck else would the kids be? Come on now. Molly. She wasn't a jerk until the whole watch my kids thing and it takes a village. That's foolish when you don't even know the people watching your kids. Back to you. That snippy trash about having kids with an absent father is stupid and unnecessary. Y'all, you and the Mean Girls Club, have every right to not kick it with the lady, but being mad that her kids come along is heckin' stupid. Edit. Everyone sucks here. Benedictine Baby said, not the jerk. She clearly doesn't understand the meaning of it takes a village. Human Disaster replied, yeah, I don't think Molly understands that you can't just make people be part of your village. <laughs> Chocolate Snowflake said, everyone sucks here. She shouldn't have assumed her children were welcome on the walk and lunch. However, since these are not explicitly adult activities, you should have specified. What I think makes you the bigger jerk than her is the absent father comment in your post. He's not absent, he's at work. There is a difference. You sound judgy as heck. Or to your mind, should no truckers, military, merchant, navy, and a million other professions that include traveler stints away from home be entitled to have a family? Working three days a week with a ton of free time, is such a far cry from raising four kids. Put simply, just because you're neighbors doesn't mean you have to be friends. As if picking the same neighborhood was an indication that they should be friends. That's just silly. If they had anything in common or even liked one another a smidge, they'd surely just act like normal people and make plans for kid-friendly and non-kid-friendly get-togethers. The kids really have nothing to do with this at all. I think they should just acknowledge that they don't like one another and call it a day. Have to agree, everyone sucks here. And that's it for today. Until next time, shine bright, Starlight. Yahoo! If you've enjoyed the story and would like to hear more, consider liking, subscribing, and leaving a comment. Thanks, and bye for now.